Welcome. This will be the second video in my mini-series, Dehydrated Trail Snacks. We are going to make, and these are really good, apple chips uh, topped with cinnamon and sugar. So, let's take a look at the items what we're going to be using for this project. The first item, of course, is our food dehydrator. And I just got this uh, clearance sale at Walmart. And it has two trays with it. And when it breaks, I'm going to buy a more higher end model so I don't have the fancy non stick mats or any of the other items that it comes with. Now, this one here is really cool. It's an apple core and skinner. And it also slices the apples up. I was lucky enough to find this at a garage sale for $2. And of course, we will go more in the operation of this unit here in a little bit. But if you don't have one of these, a knife and a cutting board will work perfectly. Here is my knife and cutting board which we will be using. A cup. Instead of using sugar we're going to use stevia extract and it is a lot more healthier for you. And of course our cinnamon. Freshly cleaned apples and what I like to do is wash the heck out of these to make sure there's no debris on them and that they're clean. We're going to be using lemon juice and a bowl, and I'll explain the purpose of the lemon juice here in a minute. I'd like to talk a little bit about food safety, which is very important to me. I can't stress this enough. Make sure you wash everything before you put it away, and I like to wash it again before I use it just to make sure there's no bacteria in it. Let's get started. We're going to take our fresh little apple and we're going to put it in the apple peeler. This is really simple to use. All we have to do is pull this leather back right here at the bottom. We're going to shove it into the little forks and just slam it up against. This right here is the core and actually slices the apple up. There's two ways of doing this. You can either leave the skins on, which we're going to do on the first apple, or just down here you flip the lever, put it up, and it'll take the skins off. I'll show you how simple this is. You ready? Here we go. take it out, all you have to do is we're going to pull this, slide it back just a little bit, and we're going to take the apple right off. See that? Leaves the core on it. And our apple now looks like a slinky. Grab the second one, and we are going to actually peel the skin off. We're just going to flip the lever right here. There it is, it's resting against the apple and we are ready to go. And we have de-skinned our apple. My dog loves these things, so I'm gonna give him a little piece of it real quick. Here, Scottish. Probably not supposed to feed it to them, but eh, they're bigger. Okay, we're good there. Hmm. Now you get to figure out what I'm going to do with the lemon juice and the bowl. We're simply going to put a little cold water in there, not much. And we're going to squirt some lemon juice in. The purpose of the lemon juice is the acids in it stop the apple from decaying or turning brown. It's kind of what happens when it hits the air. I try to do a 50-50 mix and of course you know how that is. It doesn't always work out. I'm pretty much winging it. Let's come over here to our cutting board and get our apples lined up. Now I'm just going to cut right down the middle. Of both apples. That way they're no longer a slinky. And you can see by just that little of time just talking, they're already starting to brown. And we're going to grab our tray and speed this process up just a little bit. And I'm going to just dunk them in the solution, wipe them off on the towel, and just start putting them on the tray. I 
I try to cram as many as possible on the tray. They will shrink down actually quite a bit. But the one thing I do is I do not overlay them and I do not stack them that way. They dehydrate all at the same time or have the same drying time. My tray is about as full as it's going to get. Uh, on the leftovers, don't worry about them. You can either save them for next time. I would dump, dunk them in the solution and put them in a Ziploc, Ziploc or eat them, which I'm going to be doing. Let's clear some of these items out of the way. Get ready for the next phase of the product. Product. <laughs> project. As we are going to make our cinnamon and sugar that we're going to sprinkle on the top. So first thing is, is I'm going to dump sugar, actually cinnamon in there. And we're going to do a attempt to do a 50-50 mix. Of course we're going to use the stevia extract and these come in packages you can get them in a bag like you get regular sugar in but they are very expensive so I just go this route Just mix it up, kind of blend it together. So it looks just about like that consistency. And of course, we're going to start to sprinkle. Now, how much you put on there is totally up to you. I like it lightly coated, and sometimes I like it heavily coated. Some people will actually put that in a salt or pepper shaker that works out for the best. But I'm just winging it and anywhere there's too much on one piece of apple, I'm just going to grab it, put it on another one. I think we're ready to put this in the food dehydrator. Let's throw the lid on. Boom! You're going to ask me how long it takes to dehydrate or dry out. This is a basic unit, and it usually, uh, usually between 10 and 12 hours they will be done. Uh, another plus is they make your house smell really good. It smells like cinnamon apple, and it's a really good fragrance. So we're going to let the dehydrator do its thing, and come back and check on it when it's done. They are finally done, and my, I'm going to tell you what, right now, my whole house smells like Christmas time. It smells really good, apple cinnamon. <laughs> well, I think we were into it, let's see, I want almost 10 and a half, 11 hours. And let's take a look and see what we have. They have not shrunk as much as the strawberries did in my earlier video. Now, I've cleaned my workspace and put down a fresh towel so everything's sanitized and wash my hands before I uh, touch these so I really do not want to get sick and these honestly they really do not stick to the tray so you could pretty much just grab them pull them off and put them in a zip lock bag and it, honestly it really does help if you do this while they're still warm just right off the dehydrator not bad at all let's try one real quick shall we Mmm, that is really freaking good. Okay, let's go ahead and throw them in the Ziploc here, simply get the rest of these out. And it looks like we yielded, I want to say at least, uh, maybe a serving and a half. Not as much as I thought I was going to uh, do, but that's okay. No problem. Still got a couple apples left. We can always make some more. Okay. There you have it.
have it. We have made my second favorite dehydrated trail food. Apple chips with cinnamon and sugar on it. I'm going to repeat a couple things I said in my first video of the series, the dehydrated road killed strawberries. So you can kind of disregard that if you've already watched that video, and I really hope you have. You're going to ask me, what is the shelf life of these? I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know. These will probably last me anywhere from two to three days if we're lucky because they're that good. I kind of run around and uh, snack on them throughout the day. But if you are going to do a long-term storage, uh, it's a good idea to vacuum seal them and then put in one of the oxygen absorber pads and make sure you get the, one that are, the ones that are food grade. I'm going to give you a little hint on what we are going to make next time. And this is going to be a real fun project. It's really simple to do and it will be a good starter project for you. We're going to make banana chips. We're not going to put anything on them. We're just going to slice them up and throw them in there. So that will be the next project and the last video in the series. Like always, thanks for watching.